Okay, we're going to talk about the situation when are we going to talk about assignment of contributor rights. So we're going to talk about situation where you can imagine yourself in this situation, I need this contract, in this situation, I need to do this and that. So we're going to talk about the situation. In the next video, I will discuss the contract so you can get a general idea how it technically works. So let's go to the drawing board and on the drawing board, I will discuss some things with you so you can get a general idea how it works. So this is drawing board and it's important to know that when you when you create a contract, let's say this is the contract, you need to put a lot of things in it. We are not going to talk about the content of the contract yet, but we are going to talk about the situation when you can use this type of contract. So imagine yourself in the following situation. Let's say you have a company or you are by yourself, so it doesn't matter. So let's say this is you. Yeah, this is your company, it doesn't really matter. And you help your client or you help someone that you do know with their website. So on the website, you create some things. It can be videos or whatever. You help them build the website. Technically, you help them build their intellectual property. You technically contribute to the website. And when you're a contributor, you have certain kind of rights. So let's say you and a person, the person will be like, okay, you know what? You have certain kind of rights, you have. I want you to transfer those IP rights to me. You put it in a contract, so you sign a contract. Let's say this is the company that you help. help. It can be a company or a person, doesn't matter. Seriously, it doesn't matter. And what you want to do is you want to you want to transfer those rights to them and they're going to pay you a fee for it or free it doesn't matter it's up to you so technically you need a contract and you will transfer all those rights that you have on the things that you created here it will go from you so it goes from here a to b that's something you need to keep in mind and you need to have a contract for that and in the next video i will talk more about how the contract looks like and what you can do and what you cannot do but technically this is one of the situation if you are in a situation where you create together with other people a software and all uh, let's say the person one person want to have all those rights you can transfer all those rights to them and that's when you use so this contract there are a lot of situation where you can use this contract but we are going to focus uh, more on website or software because then it's easy to explain how you can use it so if you have question about it what you can do is just press the link in the description go on the discord and in the discord in the text us channel you can ask us question about it and we will help you that's how you need to see it if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe it's for free I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.